Happy New Year. It's great to see everyone again. Happy 2018. We know it's going to be a great year. But what we wanted to do was just um, talk about the fact that obviously 2017 was a very active year here at the UN and we expect a lot of activity this year as well. We're starting off fast and I want to touch on a few topics that are now front and center facing the world. In these first days of 2018, nowhere is the urgency of peace, security, and freedom being more tested than in Iran. By the thousands, Iranian citizens are taking to the streets to protest the oppression of their own government. It takes great bravery for the Iranian people to use the power of their voice against their government, especially when their government has a long history of murdering its own people who dare to speak the truth. So we applaud the tremendous courage of the Iranian people. The government of Iran is actively attempting to stop social media and other forms of communication that allow their citizens' voices to be heard. So we want to help amplify the voices of the Iranian people. Here are some of the messages that they're chanting today. All these brigades have come out to the streets. They've come out against the leader. Political prisoners must be freed. Independence, freedom, Iranian Republic. Neither Gaza nor Lebanon, my life only for Iran. Let go of Syria, think of us. We will die, but we'll take Iran back. Don't be afraid, don't be afraid, we're all together. And in reference to the Supreme Leader, quote, feel some shame, let go of the country. Those are not my words. Those are not the words of the United States. Those are the words of the brave people of Iran. Now the Iranian dictatorship is trying to do what it always does, which is to say that the protests were designed by Iran's enemies. We all know that's complete nonsense. The demonstrations are completely spontaneous. They are virtually in every city in Iran. This is the precise picture of a long oppressed people rising up against their dictators. The international community has a role to play on this. The freedoms that are enshrined in the United Nations Charter are under, are under attack in Iran. Dozens have already been killed. Hundreds have been arrested. If the Iranian dictatorship's history is any guide, we can expect more outrageous abuses in the days to come. The UN must speak out. In the days ahead, we will be calling for an emergency session, both here in New York and at the Human Rights Council in Geneva. We must not be silent. The people of Iran are crying out for freedom. All freedom-loving people must stand with their cause. The international community made the mistake of failing to do that in 2009. We must not make that mistake again. On a second matter, the crisis in North Korea will 